Chef Joe had mentioned this in his um, when he was uh, speaking, and this is going to be our next topic. Um, I know people got different views when they come to this, so I would like everybody to go to their appropriate corners. I want all the ladies to go to the blue corner. <laughs> the men to go to the red corner. And um, I got two questions that are like this, but this first one. Is 50-50 relationships a bad <laughs> deal? Now, I've already heard some of y'all speak passionately on this. We just didn't <laughs> know the show. Now we got the opportunity. Let, let, let them hear Is 50-50 relationships a bad deal? Jeff Joe, would you like to go first? I know you feel pretty passionately. Or would you want to allow the women to give it Nah, to I want Jess to go first because she's shaking her damn head. <laughs> This is, this is why you know, we had to make sure everybody got to their corners. Y'all, y'all get ready to box when y'all hit it. Y'all hit it. So, uh, Jess, you want to go first, or you want? I mean, that one? don't even matter. I'll go. I'll go. Okay. So, what is a 50-50 relationship like? What does that look like? Because so, I've never seen one. Because, and and I say that because how I need somebody that's going to give more than fifty percent. I need somebody that's going to show up when I can't show up. Mm -hmm. I need somebody that's going to give their all, not 50%. Mm -hmm. Because what, what's 50%? I have yet to see it in a relationship. I'm tired of carrying this load. I'm tired of doing most of the work. And then I'm getting breadcrumbs. Don't give me 50%. Give me, give me your full 100. I need to see it. I need to see you at your best. And I need to see you at your worst. So if I show up and I say, hey, listen, it's a bad day. I can't do this today. I need you to carry. I need you to do X, Y, and Z because mentally I'm just not in it. My partner needs to be able to show up and hold up. And he needs to be able to hold it down when I can. So, and, and vice versa. And also there may be times when neither one of us can, can give whatever we got. We may show up, we may both show up and be like, listen, I don't have it. He may be like, I don't have it. So what we do in that case, then we got to come together. We got to communicate and we got to come up with a plan and be like, okay, so how are we going to do this for the kids? How are we going to, what are we doing as far as cooking or whatever the situation is? So 50, 50, I think it's just dumb. They just need to throw that, that whole old 50, 50 relationship idea out the, out the closet, out the window, because no one is just difficult. It's a difficult thing. You should always be willing to give your best self. If I walk into my relationships giving 50% of me, baby, you ain't, you barely getting anything. I get what you're saying, but in hey, my aspect, I was talking about 50 50 on the financial side, like all the, 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 ment the mentally and all that. I, to right. I totally agree with Caprice that. Caprice is right. <laughs> Most men is when they took my 50 50 relationship, it's based on finance. Finance, it's exactly. Most, it is not about the communication, it's not about the inner works of a relationship, it's just strictly about financial reasons. Like, yes, you don't have no, you know, like, yes, no, Josh Caprice is right. I'm sorry, Caprice, go ahead, but you, you're so right. <laughs> So right. Well, they in the grids though, because Josh said that Josh was saying that he was saying that's what he's talking about. He's talking about purely the finance part. Monetary. That's what I'm saying. Most men, when they say 50-50, that's what they're referring to. They not really took they not really considering in the whole dynamic of a relationship. They just thinking about financially because you can't show up mentally at 50% thinking that this is gonna work. So when they say 50-50, they base they speaking purely on finances, which is like you can't do that. You got to think about the whole concept of who you are coming into a relationship. It's not just about finance, guys. Like, y'all got to give more to us. Yes, we appreciate you all for being our providers, but you got to give more. Like, where's the emotional part of it? Where's the mental part of it? It's not just about finance. But you know, you know why, you know why finance always come up in the forefront, though, right? Because you do know most women their demand is always the money first. So if 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 the if my audience, if I you know if I'm heterosexual, if my audience is me getting with a woman and her her the main thing she's addressing is money, then it would make sense why a guy then combats it with the conversation of money. But y'all need to find another woman if that's what she's talking about. Y'all need to find a woman that got her own. 
<laughs> if you talk to a woman and shit about money, 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 why do you even consider paying a, a label on a relationship? You should just not even be bothered with that. If y'all run into all these women that's saying this, it doesn't a 50 50 doesn't matter. Why you even want to talk to this person? You even go 50 50 with them. Mm-hmm. So, just like how y'all say, this is like how y'all say some men be hiding the truth. Y'all women be hiding the fucking truth till you get in a fucking relationship. You can't. You can't, you can't hide that you want to uh, pay bills. I mean, well, you probably yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know, but I I don't know no woman that hide it that oh I want to be I don't want to work I want to be taken care of you got to make this kind of money. They are very blunt with it or very outspoken with it, so it's no way that you're gonna get a woman that's gonna lie about what kind of lifestyle that she want to live, even if it is outrageous. So. I'm gonna add something to the class. I, mean, I, I think, it's, a, I think it's an excuse because most men, if you look at the, the statistics, most men are not making a lot of money. So it's like, let's do 50 50 because that's the only way we're gonna survive. Don't make it like, oh, I don't want you, I got the money and I don't want you spending it. No, you need my income. Yeah, we're, we're so, keeping it 50 50. I heard, I heard y'all was saying earlier about. We got to put equal lean. I think when people speak 50 50, whether y'all both putting 100, 100 in, or whatever the percentages y'all want to break down, the main concept they're speaking about is we both putting the same effort forward. So even if I think that was um, Jessica that said 100, 100, it's the same concept that people say when they say 50 50. It's just not, it's just not predicated on one person footing way more of the bill or way more of the effort than the other person. It's based on both people putting equal lean. So I think they're just using their fraction as to, Explain the concept of we equally. I mean, a hundred, a hundred are still equal. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but when people, th- this is the thing. When people using this reference, they're using a hundred as a total, and they're they're putting it as the woman making up half and the man making up half. So I understood exactly what just saying. I agree with her. I think as far as work ethic, both parties should be given a hundred percent. Yes, but when people say 50-50, they they're going at. 100% being the total spectrum, and the woman makes up half, and the man makes up half. I think that's where that reference is going. No, I agree with you, but I'm saying it's not based on I'm holding something back. I'm holding my my 50% effort back just to put 50 in, so your 50% effort can put your 50% in. It's not, that's a lot of that reference, and I don't think that's the concept at all, what they say with that. Like, they're holding energy back and just putting part, partial in. I think they're saying, like how you said, like how you broke it down, it's a whole thing because we're working as a team and we're both putting the same effort in, which is going to make the whole fraction. Okay, okay, okay. Matt, that was all your chime in, though, on that subject? When I answered the question while you were talking, or you already done pretty much just gave you a break? What was, um, what was the original question? I would just, I'm, I'm going to ask you. Is, that, that is 50-50 relationships a bad deal? Um, not really. I mean, it's just... So it's really based on the two people involved in it because I've seen it work for some people and I've seen it not work for other people. It's not right. but personal, um, as far as finances, I want I want to be able to put more in because I, I just have a spirit about me that wants to provide for a female. So I do believe we should equally be invested in the relationship. But as far as finances, I think me being a man, I want to be able to put more in than her. That's just me personally, though. Okay, Tori, what you got on this? Is 50 50 relationships a bad deal? No, I don't think they're bad. And that just goes back to the first question when I said it's all about give and take. And and like everyone said, I think my brother was solely based upon monetary. And sometimes it's way more, it's deeper than monetary. A lot of things are deeper than monetary. When we sitting on the chair watching TV, huh? <laughs> I thought he was about to say something. Right, yeah, he was. He was. <laughs> but I don't know. It's it's just so much deeper than monetary. I think that stands out. Like I Kevin say, I think in a lot of relationships, let's say example, you got a guy that's broke, but he gives love and affection. But I said we're well, not broke, but lacking finances compared to what she's bringing to the table. Not broke though. But he's bringing all that other stuff. He would have more of a problem doing it that way than if he had money and wasn't bringing a lot of the other stuff for a lot of females. So I think that's why guys speak on that concept a little bit more because more females have an issue where you are not providing finances than they will have if you're not providing those other things, but you are contributing more financially 
and maybe giving a little bit of those things. It's not totally neglected them, of course. Um, yeah, so I, I'm going to bring up another concept. I thought Matt would, would have had hit it, but he didn't hit it. Another, another one of the issues that when this conversation is being had is around um, authority of leadership. And one of the problems a lot of guys are explaining is that typically when you got to go 50-50 with a woman, that woman feel like she has to then demand. It's like the woman don't then value or trust the man's leadership because she's coming in, giving her equal size. So she feels she has to have every bit of the exact same say so as the man. That's another concept that's being argued when this conversation comes up too. What y'all think about that? That definitely when I heard the question, that was my first thought to go there, but I, I didn't touch on it because it's I thought of, you would, yeah, but I was yeah. like, I'm just gonna bring up what I hear when I hear people having conversations. Yeah, you know, I usually bring that up as well too. I definitely agree with it. A lot of times when you're not, when you are going 50-50 with a with a woman, if you're a type of dude that wants to be a leader, you typically have more problems because people typically, if they feel like they're putting the same, you financially feel like they got the same say. They feel like they have the they they, they my say is just as equal as you. And I do agree that it's as equal as far as we're trying to build something together. But a lot of times when you're spending more of the money, you're providing more finance, you also have more leverage in the relationship as well, too. Because it's like it's like this, right? If you take our three women on the panel, don't they look like they could be some bossy women? They are. Yeah, know. <laughs> Every don't, don't, don't it look like all three of them probably give a man a little bit of hell? I ain't going to say a lot of hell, but a little bit of hell. Don't it look like I they do. give a little bit? I do. I can own up to it. I did. <laughs> I never. What? What did he say? He bring it up. Bring it up a little bit. What he said. I said every time. I said I don't know because every time Tori on the panel, she's pretty laid back and chill. She's not really that. But I know her more than me, so you probably know a side that. I'm <laughs> What you think about Caprice? You don't interact with Caprice a lot more. You think Caprice could be a boss girl? Yeah, I think Caprice could be. No, no. Because you know she got that New York in her, so you know she she got uh, yeah a thoroughness in her. Now, you just met Jess. You probably can't assess Jess, but Jess already admitted, so we ain't gotta we ain't gotta assess Jess because she already said she do. <laughs> Listen, I'm working on it. I'm trying. You know, I'm trying. I'm trying not to be as bossy, but it's there. 